Hi. Okay, we're going to talk a little bit about sections and heights and widths and full widths versus box. Okay, so I'm starting on this page that you already made called Mission, Vision, and Values, which looks great. Um, and it looks like you did have one that you were able to make full width. We'll talk about how you did that in a second. But I'm going to make a new one just so we can see. So in order to make a new section, and again, everything's set up in sections. And I know that in part because I always have my navigator navigator open when I'm working and I have my navigator open because of this guy right here on the bottom. See? Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is hover over this until I get a plus sign because I want to add in a new section. So I'm going to click that plus sign to do so. And then um, I only need one with one column. So that's fine. Eh, whatever. I'll do it with two. Okay. Um, first of all, let's put a little bit of content in there so that we can kind of see what we're doing. I'm just going to put some dummy content. Um, doesn't really matter. Okay, good enough. Um, okay, so now I, I'm over here and I'm currently editing the button, but I'm going to go back up to the section. And the first thing we want to do is put in an image, let's say. So I'm going to put in a background image. And I'm going to pick one of these. Let's pick the same one. Okay, and we want to make sure we're never uploading images bigger than 2,000 pixels ever, 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 because it's going to weigh down the site and the site will be quite slow. Um, so on this one, it is a background image, so you could go up to 2,000 pixels if you really need it, but it's okay for this to be a little bit fuzzy, so I would suggest more like 1,200 pixels, um, but definitely not as big as this, okay? Uh, so let's go ahead and pick that one, though. Just let's pretend. Okay, so already we're, it doesn't look very good. I don't like that, but let's play around with the position first before we do anything else. Um, so with these questions here, so I'm going to pick center, center, okay, so I can see where I am now in the picture. And then for attachment, this is the one that it like looks like parallax. So if I picked for it to be fixed, the image would stay in one place while you scrolled past it. But I'm going to leave it on default, which means it just looks like a normal image. Okay. Repeat. No, we don't want this image to repeat. And then size, we would like it to cover the entire area. Okay. Then, but now let's go back to the layout of the section because as you said, we want to make this full width. So the first thing you're going to do is stretch the section. There you go. Full width. This question neck content width, this is for the actual content that I have inside of here. So if I wanted to make that full width, there, full width, okay? See, it goes to the edge. But if I want this boxed, I can leave it like that. This is also where I'm gonna decide height instead of doing that at the image, uh, as you were saying. So again, in the section under layout, height, we could do fit to screen, which is gonna make it roughly the size that it thinks the screen is <clears throat> every time. Or we could do minimum height, let's do that. Uh, okay, and so it sets to 400. That's nice. Let's do like whatever, 470. Okay. Um, this is also where you can mess with the alignment. So, like if I wanted the, oops, <laughs> if I wanted everything inside of it to be middle aligned, I could do this, or I could be top and then pop in the column, right? So, play with some of these. Um, <clears throat> Let's do default. Okay, so that's really how you want to mess with the width and the height. You want to think about it as a section that happens to have a background image, but really you're playing with the width and the height of this section. And then the background image is just going to automatically trace that and cover that for you. Okay, um, so hopefully that made sense and we will talk soon.